What's up YouTube, it's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency <laughs> video. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for always coming back and watching the fire videos. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas and of course I wish you guys all a very Happy New Year as well. May all your wishes come true. So before we get into this video, I just want to make you all aware that I'm doing a giveaway on my Twitter page for a free course. So it's already out there. So make sure you're following my Twitter, Louis underscore crypto. I already posted a fire update on Twitter earlier today. So make sure you, you check that out as well. To enter this giveaway, all you guys need to do is, of course, follow me, like, comment, uh, like retweet, sorry, and comment what altcoin or crypto is your favorite crypto down below. So it just gives me better insights on um what the majority of my followers like so i had some nice comments i had hbar matic Fyro, xrp v chain many many coins uh, xpr as well so yeah make sure to enter that giveaway i'm giving out a free forex and crypto course which will basically teach you exactly how to read the charts and trade cryptos completely by yourself you also get a free mentorship uh, call with me and you're in my discord group chat until the end of the bull run so you get you'll get like um you're up to date with everything basically if you're not already up to date with the youtube channel and twitter <laughs> but yeah let's get into fire so we have this head and shoulders pattern met the technical target when you meet a pattern's target you form a new pattern this is what we're seeing right now so we had this double bottom over here we came up retested the neckline and smashed the tech to take profit i had a lot of comments saying why did this happen i, uh, I couldn't find any f news events for the reason why this happened so the reason i believe this happened and we will never know but there were no fundamentals It's because I believe that because fire is a micro cap, it's got very like a little amount of money in it. Like, I don't know exactly what it is at the moment. I think it's around 100 million, maybe a bit less. Let's actually just go check coin market cap. Let's type it. Hey, lucky Fyro. Fyro has got about, okay, uh, 74 million in Fyro. fully diluted 124 million. So not too much at all. So this is why we can see crazy moves because a millionaire or a whale can just come in, put in a few mil, take it out and then it would move the market. So whoever bought in obviously pushed price all the way up to here and then sold. But look, they did not sell more than they, what they bought because obviously this ended up green. If they sold more than what they had bought, it ended up red, but it stayed green. So at the moment on the daily time frame, we are seeing higher highs and higher lows since forming this double bottom over here. Since then, you've broken the neckline ever since you put higher highs and higher lows now let's take a look at the four hour time frame i was gonna put another update out yesterday on twitter but i completely forgot i was literally typing it and i just never posted it but i was basically saying that we are going to run into seven dollars and use that as resistance because this here seven dollars is your 618 so in the short term you're going to get rejected so let me get that exact for you guys so seven dollars or six dollars 91 that's why i had this box six dollars 91 to seven dollars and you can see this was sort of the neckline my neckline for the head and shoulders is this um, ascending one because on the daily time frame that's where the bodies are and i wouldn't have it slanted downwards basically because that bit was a fake out and you see fake came out came back above confirmed that support so you can see seven dollars and six dollars 91 is a significant key level of resistance at the moment but in the past it was support so this is the level that we must see fire break so at the moment you can see this is very round so this could be a cup and handle forming so actually we can measure from the lowest point back to the neckline and then we're waiting for the handle to form which we're doing right right now basically and once we break this resistance point of six dollars fifty one we would have a technical target at eight dollars twenty five as a minimal target can you see when you get to this eight dollars twenty five target you're actually above the six one eight so guys when you get above the six one eight confirm that as support then we will have further up technical targets. It's really looking good. It's looking tasty at the moment. Of course, we need to watch out because this could be a dead cat bounce where you've come down. We need to see how the fibs are used usually. And the fibs are used like this. Impulse, correction, continuation. And so if this is the top right here and we were to break this zero point, then I can give you technical targets to the downside. So swing low to swing high. I'm actually not going to... Should I use that? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm... Because I, th I think the wick is not actually on the Binance chart, so I have to change this. Yeah, so, yeah. So, 
that would be there. Yeah, that, that would make more sense because I'm not seeing this wick on the Binance chart. This is the Bittrex and I use this because there's more data basically. So we didn't get that wick. So we're going to measure from this low, from this to here. So the 618 still in the same area, $7, isn't it? So this is the key level that we must break, $7. Once we're above $7 and confirm the 0618 support, of course, we would be on our way to this target, but our technical target would be the 1618 at $12.80. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? That would be, I think, 100% gains from current price. Yeah. So that would be a nice 120% trade. If you were to just buy, forget about Fyro, set an alert like this, boom, alert set. When Fyro gets up here, of course, if you were trading Fyro, I personally hold, but if you're trading Fyro, then of course, this would be a nice area to take profit because when you reach the 1618, you usually come back down to find support. If you do find support above the 0618, then we will eventually take this out again. So something like this where, of course, we'll meet come above this, meet this technical target, maybe fall back down to this head and shoulders neckline before continuing to the one, maybe get rejected again. Once we're above the one, we're gonna to head to the 1618. After that, we're gonna pull back. We'll need to see where we'll pull back to. Once we have this impulsive wave to the upside, I can use the fibs. So let's say you pull back in and around here, for example, I'm not saying it's gonna come here, we're just doing it for the example. But as long as you're finding support above $7, so you could literally come down to $7, it could come down completely nastily. And as long as you're holding $7, you will eventually head to these targets. So now, what I am seeing for Fyro, bearing in mind, it breaks above the 0618. If it can break above the 0618, then, um, I uh, sorry, break above it, hold its support, get to the 1618, and then confirm, just stay above that basically when it comes back down. Most of the time it comes to the 1.272 or the 1. But even if it were to retrace that deep and and as long as it stays about seven dollars we should see fire ahead to twenty dollars and this is very very good steps going forward isn't it but of course we're not outwards yet we need to break that zero six one eight until we break it there's that chance that we do perform some sort of dead cap bounce and with that you would then break this zero point so you you, you this is what happens basically you come down impulsively correct up and then continuation and your target would be the 1618 at $3.74 but if you even come down and fail to lose this low you can create a very large double bottom and if you were to again break above that 0618 confirm it as support we got the 1618 as a minimal target at $12.87 if you can then come back find support, but as long as you stay above $7, we can see Fyro eventually head to $20, $21. And that would be absolutely amazing, guys, wouldn't it? So thank you guys for watching this video. Please smash the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe for more. Comment down below your opinions on Fyro. What do you think is gonna happen next? Are we gonna go up? Are we gonna go down? Make sure to enter that giveaway, Louis underscore crypto. It's the pinned post to enter, retweet, like, of course, follow, and comment down below what is your favorite altcoin good luck to you and i'll catch you guys in the next one and as always peace